You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off-screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique in DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? Not much recently. Unless you count riding Bobby Lashley's coattails. Exactly. I like where your head's at. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in Arcade Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE, when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type, and I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. This is a huge decision. I need more time to think it over. Fine, but I'm not gonna wait around forever. Let me know soon, before it's too late. Understood. Intercontinental Champion, The Lock. It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they weren't wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. The last version had issues. I couldn't keep track from one week to the next if you were together, broken up, or who was even in the group. 
You're not wrong, which is why I am going to do it right this time. And that starts with you. I mean, look at what I did for Bobby Lashley. I helped elevate him to become WWE Champion. And I can do the same thing for you, but faster. Since, let's be honest, Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project, but you, you're ready for prime time. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, The Lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual success first. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me. I see big things in you. So what do you think? You ready to make the best decision of your life? I still need more time to decide. I totally get it. Think it over and do what's best for you. Hopefully, that means joining my side. I'll let you know. Did you make up your mind about joining me? Yeah, I'm ready to be a part of Evolution. Good. You made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities, but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the Evolution way. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and don't be late. I'll be there.
Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to share the spotlight with you? Can you trust him? I was skeptical of all this at first, but I'm trying my best to trust the process. Which is tough, since I know Randy's not always been the most straight-up guy, but I think he really wants to do this the right way. And that means stepping aside when the time's right and giving me the spotlight. Any clue who else will be joining this new evolution? Randy hasn't told me anything. I guess we'll all find out together. Someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. Interesting. What's this all about? We've seen these two team before, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. We heard the rumors surrounding Randy Orton. This must be the debut of his newly reformed evolution. Let's go. Led by Orton, Evolution is here on Raw and they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. We put the locker room on notice, but now I want to show the entire WWE universe that we run things here on Raw. When I was in the original Evolution, we did that by holding multiple championships. So we are going to do the same thing. I thought you said I needed to wait my turn to go after the WWE Championship. You do. I've used my pull to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. We can beat the Street Profits. No problem. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match with them and the team of Carmelo Hayes and Almas from MVP's relaunched Hurt Business. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Yeah, but ours is better. I've decided you two will represent Evolution. I want those tag titles. Don't let me down. Don't worry. After this match, I'll be holding two championships. We got this. It's two-thirds of Evolution ready for tag team action. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. And it's for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 510 pounds, the Assassin Max Lee and Gabriel Slade Evolution. The 
Intercontinental Champion and Gabriel are an exciting blend of potential and experience that could reshape this entire tag team division. Sure, if The Lock's actually ready for a partner. Combined weight of 610 pounds, Omos and Carmelo Hayes, the Hurt Business. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books. And that's really saying something. Time to party with the Prophets. And at a combined weight, of 492 pounds, Montez Ford and Angelo Duncans, the Street Profits. Myron with the Street Profits out here. I can't even get mad at you. <laughs> All right, Michael, high five. All right, maybe not. Join the Street Profits, choreograph our own little dance inside the club, man. It'll be lit. That's a great idea, Saxon. Afterward, we can all go play in traffic. The new look Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with Gabriel Slade to challenge the Street Profits for their Raw Tag Team title. And they'll have to go through a moss and complete the page while they're at it to walk away as tag champs. I can't remember seeing this much talent in one ring in a long time. Well, Saxton clearly has the memory of a goldfish, but he's right. This triple threat tornado tag match is as stacked as it gets. And I, for one, can't wait to see it land here.
Choke slam. Tossed that across the way. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution and the Hurt Business, look to make their mark by capturing gold, but ultimately, the champions' experience teaming together prevailed. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot. Obviously, things didn't go as planned out there. But what's next? How are we going to regroup? You're not going to regroup. We are. What do you mean? You had your shot, and you lost. Now we're going after the tag titles. I had the match won and caught a bad break with Omas and Montez hitting me with big moves right after the other. And it's not like you're punishing Gabe here for losing. 
Gabe didn't get pinned. You did. Look, give me another chance. I'll prove myself by doing something really impressive. Like what? I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows? Could even earn us a title rematch. Sure. <laughs> okay. The man destined to be top dog, it's The Lock. The following contest is a handicap match. Introducing first, from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 290 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Assassin, Max Lee. Rumor has it that The Lock has already had various disagreements with WWE management. Well, the greats are always a little difficult, aren't they? Lock yourself to your seats. It's time for this man to go to work. champion may have recently lost his chance to rack up another title, but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The lock seems to have lost more than that. His mind maybe a, a terrible bet? Man, do I hate to agree with Corey, but I just don't see how a handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions could end well for the ambitious rookie. Mm -hmm. Nothing fancy there. Uh-oh. It's gonna... We're gonna see it! Stop! For in the corner now. The upper hand now belongs to the lock. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. Punch lands. He's taking some good hits. 
Oh, look at these kicks. Oh. Ah. Right to the face. Looking to inflict even more damage right here. Face first. A big punch. Ouch. And Montez Ford finds himself on the defensive. Somehow Montez has to turn the tide. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. These superstars going all out in this matchup. Things are about to go from bad to worse. Oh my God, no, 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 not from up there, not from up there. KO! And the kibosh being put on Montez Ford there. Oh, come on, Cole, no one leaves a handicap match completely unscathed. He made it, tag made. Return fire from Dawkins. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Showing the off the rope to the outside tope called Hilo. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Good suplex. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Punishing the human body. Your wins. This might be the latter, Cole. The lock certainly seems to be most comfortable when the stakes are the highest. This win is spreading like a wildfire. The electricity in this arena is almost palpable.
Not bad, huh? Told you I'd show you I was worthy of a rematch. I was impressed, but I'm sticking with the original plan. Me and Gabe are taking the tag title rematch. Why do you think WWE even gave us the rematch to begin with? It was because they just saw me beat the champions all by myself. Is that what you think? I actually went to management and got us the rematch, and you could have blown it by going out there on your own and losing. Yeah, well, I didn't. Look, you already have the Intercontinental Championship. Focus on that. And after Gabe and I take care of business, we'll all have titles. Everyone wins. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think Randy's right. It makes more sense for us to take the match. Exactly. And for Evolution to succeed, we all need to be on the same page. Understood? <sighs> Sorry. You're right. I didn't mean to get out of line or anything like that. Good. So, how did it feel to watch from the sidelines as your Evolution teammates captured the Raw Tag Team Championships? Evolution is a solid group, and we are even more solid now that all of us are champions. Is that what Randy told you to say? What are you getting at? It just seems like you've taken a back seat to Orton. Randy's got a plan and I'm following it. He's going to pass the torch to me when the time's right. Or at least that's what he's told me. I don't want to pry, but is there dissension in evolution already? You know what? I think I've said all I want to say.
It's the man who might transform WWE forever, The Lock. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 290 pounds, the Assassin Max Lee. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. A man, an animal, who has done it all in WWE. And his partner from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the animal, Batista. Oh, the animal will punish with no remorse and no mercy. Batista's story is that of indescribable rage. He has this insatiable desire to inflict pain on his prey. Yeah, it is really frightening when you think about what Batista is truly capable of. He won the Royal Rumble in two different decades. He's a decorated champion, a Hollywood action movie star. And Batista doesn't care what anyone thinks. He's obsessed with what he wants, and what Batista wants is domination. Time to unleash the rage. It's your friendly neighborhood superstar, Gabriel Slade. And from Columbus. Oh. One of the most prolific competitors in WWE history. Without question, a man who has exhibited over 25 years of dominance in sports entertainment. And that dominance will continue before our very eyes tonight. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game. It's all about the game and how you play it, and nobody plays it better than Triple H. Oh, the cerebral assassin. An unbelievable talent in the ring. The sadistic son-in-law of the chairman of WWE. Now the intimidation and mind games have already begun for Triple H. Because the moment the music hits, Triple H begins to defend his kingdom. Well, that's because Triple H looks at every competitor as a threat to his crown. We are about to see a battle here tonight. Tag team action underway, truly one of the hallmarks of sports entertainment. That's right, Cole. As a former tag team champion myself, I have to say these matches hold a special place in my heart. Oh, what a forearm. All the way up. Good red suplex. Uh -huh. 
Schoolboy. Wait, no! Into a powerbomb! Oh, what the a slam! This match grinded him down a little. Locke launching attacks left and right. Slade has to devise a new plan here. Planted by the DDT. Has them hooked. Crossroads! Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Impact. Oh, the lock gets caught with a counter. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Getting carried back to short for Becky. And Slade can't find an answer for these attacks. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be. He's hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. Fought off with an elbow. Nicely done. side of the lock. Slade has to devise a new plan here. He's able to sidestep there. Knew what Gabriel had coming. Catching a cutter. Slade got a pretty good cut from that one, too. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Guys, I can't think of a worse place. These superstars going all out in this matchup. Things are about to go from bad to worse. Oh my God, no, 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 not from up there, not from up there. Oh, oh. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Run through with the spear. And strikes. Wow. Brutality. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. Triple H reversing the momentum on him. That could be the trigger for Triple H to battle his way back into this. The game firing up. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. And a carefully measured knee drop. Appreciate him while you can, folks. He's not getting paid by the hour. Locks on coming. And he tosses it back in now. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Whatever's plan here can't be good. Oh, slam GTS! Night, night, for the win! Oh, apron slam! Larian! Time to play the game. back to the match. Run right through with the spear. Oh, look at this. German suplex. And not done yet. Another German. And continuing to punish their opponent with a 
German. Turning the tables. The sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. He's been placed in the corner now. Knee lift in the corner rocks the job. Superstars. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today. Be honest. Do you think we could take Batista and Randy Orton? You still booking fantasy matches in your head? You don't? I mean, it's hard not to make the comparison between our two groups. And then you start to think about how we'd measure up against the breakout stars from the original version. I hear you, but... Honestly, I've got no idea how that would go. Those guys were amazing and really worked well together. They were just hitting their stride, too. Yeah, I have a tough time seeing how it would shake out, too. All of our styles are so different, and a lot has changed since then. Can you picture it? It sounds like you want me to try. And here they come. The animal has arrived. One of the top. Hard to believe it's been two decades on the hunt in WWE. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tag team action is now underway. The tag team match is a classic staple of this business. It's the ultimate test of teamwork and in-ring timing. Yeah, for partners to compete at a high level here, they have to form one truly exceptional unit, which is definitely easier said than done. Uh-oh, here we go! F-10 Face Buster! Caught in a bad position here. Down the hard way! Oh, oh, oh gosh! And a close -up. With the Larian. Now he's been put on the defensive. Here we go! No! Fake me out again. 
He left an opening. Batista is bleeding. Has them hooked. Rolling cutter. Escapes in a nick of time. The lock put a stop to that. Schoolboy. Wait, no. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. Flat shaft, impressive. Run right through with the spear. Batista's being picked apart here. The lock isn't holding anything back. Well, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. Look at. And he sends him into the corner. He's tagging out. Out of nowhere. RKO. And Locke is really putting the pressure on. And Orton needs to bring the match back to his pace. Shot there. Oh. Out of nowhere. RKO. He's absorbed some damage already. <laughs> Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. Uh oh, going up top. If they can somehow pull this off, you got to be kidding me. Not from up there. This is nasty. This is devastating. All in the name of victory. From way up high, into the ring. Can Orton withstand this attack? A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. The lock expected that one. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Pulled in from belly to belly. Batista gets drawn in. A town down. That's got to be it. There's two. Oh, a kick out, a kick out, a kick out. He just kicked out by a fraction of a second.
time believing that one. And Batista gets warded off.